In this video, we are going to look at, take a look at a continuous statement in C programming. And what continuous statement basically does is that it is used to uh, to jump out of a loop. So in any looping control structures, so far the looping control structures we have seen, the while, the do while, and the for control structure. Now we can use this continuous statement to uh, jump out of a particular uh, iteration of that particular uh, control structure and jump to the next iteration and maybe you want to avoid uh, carrying out uh, some a certain instruction or some instruction on a particular iteration so and in this uh, to illustrate this we are going to be creating a program uh, a program that will print numbers between say 1 to 20 and then we want to print we want to avoid printing the uh, the tenth uh, number so we want a program that will basically meant for printing out numbers from 1 to 20, but we will jump the 10th number so that it will, uh, if, uh, after reaching 9, it will jump to 11. So uh, for that, I have already created a file. I have named it continue.c. So what we are going to do, we just create our four structure. So we create our four, and we know the syntax of four. First of all, is initialization. So let's say we have a counter called x for ntx equals to 1. And the condition is x should be uh, less than or equals to 20. That is a condition. And then we want to be incrementing uh, x uh, by 1. All right. So that is what we want to do. So we want to print uh, print f uh, x. So we want to print. We want to print out x. <coughs> we want to print out x. And x is an integer. So we have, uh, sorry, so I should have, all right, so what am I doing? Let's have this, uh, I want to print out our x decimal integer, and then we have, okay, there's no need for this, and to print out a d, x. All right, so we want to print out uh, x, statement terminator here. So we want to print out x, so it's going to print uh, x, uh, or, uh, as it is like this, going to print out from all the numbers from 1 to 20. So now we want to make use of, uh, we want to nest another control structure that would test. Uh, if x is uh, equals to 10, then we want to jump uh, to the next iteration. So we just uh, make use of if uh, single selection control structure. So we say if x, if x equals to 10, then uh, continue so this brings us to the use of this continue statement so of origin when x equals to 10 it is not it will not uh, the program will not uh, proceed to line number 16 it will uh, increment x so that x will be 11 and then it will continue uh, printing out the numbers so uh, we are going to omit the printing out of the tenth number. So let me compile this program and then run it. And if there's any error, we can come over and uh, fix the error. So I'll just uh, save it as it is. I'll come to the terminal here. And then let me navigate to the folder where I have this. So CD uh, documents. Documents. CD programming. CD uh, C programs, CD, uh, okay, LS, let's see LS, we have CD, C program from scratch, and then we have LS, CD, uh, lecture, and okay, terminal. All right, so the next thing what we are going to do now, I'm going to compile it. So I'm making use of my GCC compiler, we have continue, uh, continue to C, dash O, dash O, dash O, dash O, then we have continue, uh, continue, and then we have this. So our program has compiled successfully. Now we can run it, and we have continue, let's see. So we have the numbers, and later it is not properly formatted. So let me uh, just make a little modification to the program so that we can see the numbers much, much more clearly. Uh, clearly. All right, so let's have uh, a space. After printing out the number, let there be some uh, space. So let's uh, compile the program and then uh, have the program uh, print out the numbers. So let me clear the terminal here and then we have 
axis. So we'll run the program again. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. As we can see, uh, the tenth letter has been omitted. Then we have eleven up to the twenty-eight number. So basically, the use of continuous statement is used to jump a particular iteration in a uh, looping control uh, structure. So thank you for taking your time to watch this video.